Okay, I'm gonna set the scene. It's Christmas morning, 2011. I have just come out to my mother and she's trying to be supportive. She hands me an, a, stock, a box, I unwrap it. Inside of it is a sexy merman doctor Christmas ornament. <laughs> It is lovely. It's wonderful. Unfortunately, my grandfather is there. The shock of this situation does, in fact, kill him. <laughs> Here's the thing. Had she been able to buy that any other time of year, she could have ruined a less important holiday, you know? <laughs> like Earth Day or <laughs> Tim's birthday or Irish Independence Day. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. But here's the thing. Tim is going to come up here and say that he's glad that my grandfather is dead. Tim's only wish is that he was able to pull the trigger. <laughs> Tim is going to come to this microphone and call me every slur in the book, except for Carpet Muncher. And the reason for that is, Tim gets fucked up if he doesn't get his President's Choice candy cane ice cream. And that is relatable. I want some right now, and so do you. Yes, he does! All right. Oh, that's my boy! Thank you, Karis. Arguing against the proposition is Tim Blair. Tim, you have one minute. All right, let me just pull now. out my book. I'll start A, ass muncher. Uh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... <laughs> I think, uh, oh yeah, so I'm against Christmas. Anyway, I think we should, you should not be able to get, wait, what? All right, I'm confused. Uh, yes, anyway, my point. Uh, all right, we, let me re... I'm arguing uh, against or for. I'm You're arguing against Christmas decorations before December. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's what I thought. You now have 30 seconds. All right. I was all right. I, all right. First of all, we don't need Christmas decorations before December because November always has a lot of holidays going on. Lest we forget M Remembrance Day. Lest you forget that, all right? And then, of course, we got Black Friday. That's a holiday. We don't have any Black Friday decorations. I think we need, like, I don't know, some uh, just... It's folding chairs, so people have to slam each other while they're shopping. Uh, yeah, I think we don't need a Christmas decoration until it starts snowing. That's the world's Christmas decoration. Ten seconds. And I think it's cool to leave up after December, because that's, that's how you keep it relatable. Christmas decorations should be year-round, but end on November. All right, let's go. Year-round is still not what you were arguing for, but well, that's fine. All right, thank you. <laughs> Karis, you have 30 seconds to respond, starting now. Okay, Tim, I'm saying this as your friend. I think that your brain would work better if you had a candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he was just so flustered because he got horny when I mentioned my dead grandfather. <laughs> anyway, look, I want some peppermint schnapps right now. Bye. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Karis. Mm. Tim, you have 30 seconds to respond. Okay, I'm going to use this time to rebuttal to a uh, quip Karis made earlier in the show when he compared our team to shit on a stick mistletoe. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's accurate. We are like mistletoe because you're about to kiss our ass, all right? <laughs> sure, I'm confused about what I'm debating for and what I believe in, but aren't most people, <laughs> right? <laughs> Why don't we go down to Ottawa right now and... <laughs> no, man. No, All right, thank you, thank you very much. Moving down the street in my convoy. All right, now you, the audience, get to decide. Do you agree with Karis Anderson that stores should sell Christmas decorations before December? Or do you agree with Tim Blair that they should not sell them before December or whatever he was talking about? Oh, that was close. Let's do it one more time for Karis. For Tim. Everybody's clapping for both. I don't know what to do. Uh, because you feel bad. All right. What is the sound guy thinking? You guys are right to feel bad. After this show, Dan's going to kill whoever loses. Okay. Can't wait. Pick me. Uh, I'm going to call it a tie. I'm going to call it a tie. For the first time. But really, at the end of the day, I won because my grandfather's still alive.